This is what happens when you put silk in the microwave for three minutes. Happy Friday! Woo! I haven't recorded today. I was cranky this morning. And I was irritated because I went to leasing office and they pissed me off. They all I get pissed off every time I go to leasing office. But it's Friday! He's like Turn down for what? I'm like, cause we gotta go to driving school tomorrow. Cause, um, yeah, I'm not trying to have a super speeder ticket on my record. And I'm standing in the fridge cause I'm trying to find food. I think we're gonna have breakfast for dinner. Let's be crazy. I have, I have turkey sausage. Um, hash brown. Southwest style. Cheese. Yes, let's do this. One tablespoon of vegetable oil and then you want to smush your hash brown push the crap out of it and then leave it for like two minutes this is not a healthy dinner this is a it's friday and i'm hungry and i don't care kind of dinner right bob say we don't care got cheese and then we found a piece of ham and then we're gonna have a tummy ache from all the cheese why do you look like you only have one eye you want some you want some of this good, good? You can't have any. Adobo because adobo is life. Yes. Fake eggs. We don't buy real eggs. We don't have time for that. We're not responsible enough. I just pour it in and that's way too much. I think Brandy is, I think her dad's here and I think I just made enough for two people. Whoops. And I flip it, but I can't flip it neatly. And then I just kind of let it hang out for a couple minutes. And then we have a scrambler. Maybe I can have it for breakfast since I made way too much. And then I make Bentley's food because I totally cook for him. Cooking skills. Boop. So that way he can play with this and eat and leave me alone while I eat. Yay, Bubba's with one eye. That is ready. Super easy. Literally takes five minutes. The hash browns don't have a lot of like junk in them. I made it junky by putting freaking turkey sausage and eggs and cheese. Well, no, egg whites aren't bad for you. It's really the cheese. I love cheese. Where are we going, Bob? Um, I really want to go to Petco because I know I got gift cards for Christmas from grandma and aunties and everything, so I want to get something. Yeah, he wants to go to Petco. I'm like, you know what, whatever. You're too young to go by yourself, so. I will drive you there. I'm such a good mommy. And he's been a good boy, so he gets to use his gift card for something he wants. And it can't be for grooming things or things that aren't fun for him. So this is the state of my life right now. You would think I'm young, I live in Atlanta, I'm in the city. Well, I live like 15 minutes from Atlanta. I'm freaking reorganizing my pantry like a loser. Loser. It's just getting so out of control. Something needs to be done and it needs to be done now. And there's some things I want to take to the dumpster, but it's late and I, I don't want to die. And they don't come pick up trash until Sunday. But I feel like I would feel so much better. Maybe I'll make Bentley come with me and I'll dress like a, like a boy and then they won't try to take me. You wanna go to the dumpster babies and help mama? Um, no. I had like mad, this is how ADD I am. I decided to make hot cocoa because I found a random packet. I have all these packets. I'm in packet hell. Like, I don't even like that kind of mustard. Why am I saving it? I get it for my daddy. He is a packet hoarder, like the packets they have like i don't even think they're safe for consumption anymore i'm just trying to get my life y'all go to the dumpster just thinks there's food involved this is what happens when you put silk in the microwave for three minutes go me i did too much i have add every little project turns into 18 other little projects but look i clean my drip pans in my stove because that was a really important thing to do tonight. That one is just funky, I can't fix it. I mean, I don't ever cook, rarely, so. Not a big deal. 
And then I organized my pantry and it still looks a hot mess. But it makes sense. And this is like Bentley's corner of treats we haven't gotten to try yet from bark boxes, samples of things I need to use, calming medicine, and oh, this stuff works really good on the plane. I gave him this Richard's Organics Pet Calm. It's natural, hippie, holistic, organic, good, good. I think it worked. He was calm. Maybe I gave him <laughs> some of these. It worked. I have like his revolution, his little pumpkin thing if he has an upset stomach. So I do have the cans of 100% pure pumpkin. Don't ever use pie filling because it has too much sugar and stuff in it for upset stomachs. So I don't really need the cans. And then just miscellaneous treats. Wow, that was really in my face. So I'm over it. I gotta take a shower and go to bed because I have to go to driving school because I'm an ir irresponsible person. Oh well. Bobby, you wanna say goodnight to all your friends? Um, goodnight guys. I went to Petco and you wanna see what I got? I got this thing. I really like it. Um, stop taking it. Um, can you describe it? Uh, no problem. It says Papa Stroni Soup. Vitamins D, O, and G. Get it? And it has such a little cute kawaii face on the top of it. It's so kawaii. And then he got... It looks like freaking puppy daycare up in here. No, I think these are asparagus. Because they're kawaii too. Because it matches carrot. I don't even know where carrot is. Oh, here's carrot. Carrot! Carrot is his ish. Tell all your friends good night, Bob. Shh. Um, I got carrots, so I'm good. Bye. Do you want to give them the closest? Um, yeah. Good. With carrots. Bye. Bye.